In this video, I'm going to give you a broad overview of how to create a page using Site Origin Page Builder. I'll go over the basic concepts, things like adding content to your page and creating page structure. This video is a good starting point if you're just getting to know Page Builder or if you need to brush up on the basic concepts. I'm going to assume that you already have Page Builder installed. If you don't, click on the annotation above for installation instructions. After you've activated Page Builder, you'll see the small Page Builder tab next to the visual and text tabs of the default WordPress editor. Click on this tab to switch to the Page Builder interface. If you're editing an existing page, you'll get the option to copy your content over to Page Builder. What you see here is the Page Builder interface. You can add a widget, a row, or a pre built layout. Let's start by creating a row. Rows are the primary container inside Site Origin Page Builder. They're where you'll be adding your content and specifying your layout. In the row dialog, you can choose the number of columns and then the column layout. Once you're done, just click Insert. You can also add a row by right clicking on an existing row and then choosing one of the predefined options in the contextual menu. Editing a row allows you to add and remove columns, as well as edit some row styles. We'll go over these row styles a little bit later. At any stage, you can move a row by using the move handle that's above each row. Now we have our basic page structure, let's start adding some content. Click on a column to select it, and then click Add Widget to bring up the Widget Adding dialog. There are a lot of widgets you can choose from, but the one that we'll be using the most is called the Site Origin Editor widget. You can find it here under the Widgets Bundle section, or you can type Editor into the search field. You might be prompted to install the Site Origin Widgets Bundle plugin. If you haven't already, go ahead and install it, then save and reload the page. So here, you'll be able to start entering your content, both text and images. A shortcut to adding a widget is to right-click inside the column, and then select it in the contextual menu. If it's not there, you can use the search. Another option is to just duplicate an existing widget. So after adding some content, this is what our page looks like. If you want to change the positions of rows and widgets, you can just pick them up and drag them. Now let's take a look at row and widget styles. To access row styles, click on the spanner icon that's above the row. Row styles are down here on the right. Attributes will make sense to you if you have some web development experience. This section allows you to add classes to rows and cells and you can add some custom CSS that Page Builder applies to each row. Next, we have the Layout section that allows you to change some layout-related values for a row. You can set the margin below a given row, the gutter, which is the amount of space between columns in a row, and the padding around the entire row. Using a space between two padding values allows you to have separate top-bottom padding and side padding. This feature can come in very handy. The row layout value allows you to change how Page Builder displays the row. The options are standard, full width, and full width stretched. Full width stretched just means that the content inside your row is stretched, while in normal full width, just the container is stretched. Using the design section, you can change the background color and background image. You can also choose how Page Builder displays your background image. The option a lot of people are interested in is Parallax. You have a similar set of options when editing a widget. Down on the right side is a set of widget styles. Attributes are the CSS related fields. Layout allows you to set widget padding in much the same way you did for rows. The last thing that I want to show you is pre built layouts. Starting with Page Builder 2.2, there's now a full directory of layouts that you can easily import into your pages. These are a great learning tool to get insight into how these pages are created. Or you can just use them as a shortcut to building your own derived pages. So that broad overview should give you the basic understanding you need to create pages using Site Origin Page Builder. All future learning you do will usually revolve around learning widgets and which ones to add to your pages to get the desired effects. 
I hope you enjoy learning and building with Site Origin Page Builder, and I hope to hear from you along the way. My name is Greg from Site Origin, and this is Site Origin Page Builder. Thanks for watching.